and they're off. So they're racing over 1,400 metres and Kuhelen Weld Om Zorea, the defending Arabian champion, was just shaken up coming out of the starting stalls. Kuhelen Afas began sharply and right there to the outside is Kuhelet Al Adiat and between horses and rather keen obey in 1777 spot the yellow cap. Kuhelen Weld Um Zorea is just in behind the leaders out wide Al Jellaby followed by obey in 1867 blue and white jacket as they move on down the far side of the track. So going towards the end of the back straight and uh, now starting to make a spot of progress out to the far side is Musanan that moves into second last place but taking a wide course there is Al Jellaby the one in front is Kahalan Afas and it's Kahalan Afas in front of Kahalat Al Adi at second place Obey in 1777 now moving into second relegating Kahalat Al Adi at to third position on the inside Kahalan Weld Um Zorea. Al Jellaby has got a nice view of the leaders they come on down the straight towards the final 400 metres and it is is Kohalan Afas are being pestered for the lead by Obey in 1777. Out wide is Kohalet Al Adiat uh, with Kohalan Weld Um Zarea having to work to get there as they head down towards the last 200. It is Obey in 1777. Here comes Kohalan Weld Um Zarea now between horses, takes over with 100 metres left to go. Meanwhile, down the wide outside, Obey in 1867 is rushing home as they go towards the finish. The champ's going to have to fight Kohalan Weld. Um, Zarea may have just held on from Obey in 1867. Second place, a whole host of them there in behind for third position. Kaelin Afas, Kahalat Al Adiat, and uh, Obey in 1777. Well, it's a winning return then for Neil Callan. First ride back here, it's a winning one on what is a superb Arabian trained here. Um, how did he feel today on his first run since March? Yeah, a little bit fat. A <laughs> um, little bit, you know, laid back. He hasn't run for a while. So he just lacks that little bit of race sharpness that they kind of need because, you know, as these Arabs are quite laid back, they don't put 110% in. But when I kind of got the split, I thought he was going to go and win easier, but he just puffed out on me a little bit, pricked his ears and idled a little bit in front. But listen, uh, going forward, you're going to see a massive improvement in when he tightens up fitter. And that's the aim today, very much a trial for the, the Crown Princess Cup in three weeks' time. Um, how about you? Will you be here for riding him on the Crown Princess Cup? Nice to see you back here. Yeah, it's nice to be back. Uh, it's quite a while since I've been here. Um, and uh, look, you know, just come in. I, I, I had a fall at home, so I was quite injured for a while. So. Um, lucky to get back after seven weeks so um, yeah look it's nice to be back it's nice to be riding for uh, Fauzi his team and, and his Highness Sheikh Sultan who I come for so um, yeah let's hope we can carry on from last year well you certainly have so far a winning return then for Neil Callan champion jockey last season or last couple of seasons out here nice to see him back riding for Fauzi Nas and for his Highness Sheikh Sultan but in the colours of Al Qadir it's a winning return for Neil Callan. Well done to connections of Kuhalen Weld Um Zarea. So there is confirmation of uh, the result, the official result of our first race. First number one, Kuhen Weld Um Zarea. Second number four, Obey in 1867. And third number three, Kuhelet Al Adiat. Fourth there for his number seven, Obey in 1777. Just to confirm, distances of a short head and two and a quarter lengths. A short head and two and a quarter lengths. Time of the winner, one minute 36. That's 36.25. One minute 36.25.
So we come to the trophy presentation for our opening race. This is His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa Cup for Arabian Horses. And delighted to welcome His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, the Vice President of the Supreme Council for Environment and the Vice Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, presenting the trophy there to Abdullah Nas, son of winning trainer Fauzi Nas.